All right, I hope you're excited to get started. I know that may sound corny, but this is a really cool piece of software. And what we're going to start with first is the software overview. The purpose of this is to merely identify the main components of After Effects that you're going to be using every single time that you use After Effects. Like a lot of software, it has many, many things in it, some of which you use occasionally, some barely at all. But these things you will be using every single time. So let's start by identifying probably the most important component, the composition window. The reason this is important is because this is what your audience is going to see at the end of the day. Now below it, we have the timeline. The timeline pretty much controls everything that happens in the composition window. So these two components are very crucial. Now you see here's the playback head and it controls you know, what's being shown in the composition window. And this composition has two components, the word fancy letters and the background video. Now to the left here is the layer controls. Each layer has its own set of controls and you'll you know, be able to make them do different things inside of your composition window. If we look at the layer controls, we see this little triangle. It's called the Twizzler. If we open that up, we get access to additional properties for each layer, such as the position, the opacity, or the rotation of the layer. The layers are also stackable. If you've ever used Photoshop, you're uh, familiar with the stacking hierarchy. We can put the word fancy behind the video. It's still there. It's just behind the video. The next item we need to look at is the project bin. Everything that you use in After Effects has to be imported into the project bin in order for you to use it. So you can see we have a number of items in here. If I want to use one of these, I can just grab it and throw it onto the composition. And you'll see there's an additional layer. Go ahead and scale this down and we can start designing something here. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. The next item we need to look at is the effects control, which is located right here. We don't have any effects applied to any of these layers right now. So let's go ahead and choose the video layer and go to the effects column and we'll put a blur on that layer. Now you see we have controls for the layer and we'll go ahead and add some blur and it's obviously changing the shot. And you're going to be using you know, the effects controls quite a bit because this is After Effects and it's one of the main purposes of the software. So this is one of the places where you control effects. Above that is the toolbar. Now, it'll have a lot of the tools that you'll be using every time you use After Effects. There are also tools in here that are unique to After Effects, like the Unified Camera tool or the Roto Brush tool. But many of them, like the Text tool, or the pen tool, they're just the same as the ones that you might find in Photoshop. And the pen tool is very important. It's one that you will be using a lot. And above that, we have the main menu bar. We have items like file. That's where you're going to find the import function, which is important because you have to be able to import everything into After Effects. Next to that is the edit command, basic things like copy paste, nothing real special there. And here we have the composition pull down. Now in there is the composition settings. That's where you're going to find out everything you need to know about your composition, such as the pixel dimension, the pixel aspect ratio, the frame rate, and the duration, for instance. And this is where you would change those if you need to. Next to that is the layer controls. The layer controls have a lot of duplication uh, many of the controls are also found in the timeline layer control. If you use the Twizzler, you can access a lot of the same controls. And next to that is the effects channel. Now the effects channel is very important because this is where you're going to find a lot of your effects that you're going to be using. They're broken into broad categories, things like color correction. You can see that there's a lot of different ways to, to apply color correction, distortion tools, and here we come to the animation category. Next to that, we have the view category. It has some basic things in there. For instance, if you needed a grid superimposed over your composition for layout, this is where you'd find it. And then here we have the window column, 
which shows you all the windows that are either open or not open. And if you can't find one, just go and locate it in here. So to recap, what we have done in this tutorial is just identify the main components of After Effects for you, the ones that you're going to be using pretty much every time you use After Effects.